Zeke and Sakari. We back at it like a crack at it. They done let them bruise in the dough. In this wicked industry. Damn, to shine the light. Uh, they done let them bruise in the dough. Oh shit. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Uh, uh, they done let them bruise in the dough. We ain't going nowhere. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. He brew, uh, he brew, that's you. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Look, Joe Biden need to free dark low. The hell is wrong with dude? No Alamolek, but I got perfect vision in the dark. I'm a lexicon, I'm a megalodon, all my verses ripping them apart. Mosaic law with the church is missing, it's the worst religion from the start. In my soul where the word is written out of circumcision of the heart. I'm rocking my fringes, I'm in Seattle, rocking like Hendrix. No industry gimmicks, you rappers to finish, I'm kicking the door off the hinges. Throwing stones like you sinless till you get the finish, you should have repented in a minute. This truth is endless, they loving the image, I never what happened to Kim. What happened to Kim? I keep my pencil on point, no sharpener. Used to weigh pounds of troll, I lay down the flow like carpenters. She causing division in the sisterhood. I'm marking on. I'm preparing the way for the harvester. I'm a harbinger. Cops hop out, we bail on them. Leviticus, I like my fish with scales on them. Ask Chief E from he could vouch. We be putting in the work while you sitting on the couch. Camp haters quiet as a mouse. Yeah, I ready. Shout out to my brother Austin Trout. Just as a reminder, if there's doubt, I wear every single fringe, even when I'm in the house. Yeah. They a Pentecost in the synagogue. I've been a boss every minute, cost. And I got the dinner sauce. They call me Pace Picante. They put beef on my plate, and I ate the on. Get all your truth music at DeaconSakari.com. That's nine albums. We even got a couple free for y'all. Support the cause, y'all. Children's Bibles with black and brown images. All on DeaconSakari.com. Even your head wraps. Stay dipped. Stay brewed dripping. All right. DeaconSakari.com. All right, y'all. Go to CZYN.network. CZYN.network. We done with Patreon. No more Patreon. CZYN.network. You're going to get videos too hot for YouTube or early releases. So go sign up. Promo code Deacon Sakari. Promo code Deacon Sakari. Promo code Deacon Sakari. Not only do you get Deacon Sakari's content, you get Gorilla Hebrew content, Hassad content, other camps putting their content on this platform. We need our own app, so sign up using promo code Deacon Sakari. C-Z-Y-N dot network. It's our own app, our own platform. The white man can no longer subvert or hide or try to censor this truth. So sign up and get this heat. Promo code Deacon Sakari. Promo code Deacon Sakari. Promo code Deacon Sakari. CZYN. Popping mollies and putting powder in your nostrils. We be in the trenches, needles under benches. We be giving them the gospel. I keep 12 Sakari members with me. We be moving like apostles. True. Some stitches is dead traps, hair rascals, just a thought though. The church don't even know the truth. They can even tell you you an Israelite. And the Arabs selling you all the switches and the malt liquor or the Ishmaelite. You can show a nigga slave ships in the Bible, still won't get it right. Until the time's out, then a the nigga gotta find out what them missiles like. Things he said, and there's some things I said that I can't air on YouTube. So again, you're gonna have to go to CZYN.network promo code Deacon Sakari. Jason, no, we're not interested in, in 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 Jason joining again. We're not. Matter of fact, if y'all want Jason, Jason could not even handle my questions. So maybe I'll get Jason on. Y'all want you, you know what? Let's get Jason on. Let's get let's get Jason on here and then we'll continue. Jason is a Jewish. Well, 
he's not Jewish because his his mom isn't a Jew, so he's not Jewish. Why is my We'll get Jason on y'all and then we'll go back to the video. We already got him on before and he just didn't know what the hell he was talking about. All right, let's get a banner up to make sure. Hello, hello. All right, Jason, you're live. What's hey, going hey, on? Man. Hey, no, no, no. I would, I really would like to speak. Uh, um, with, with, you know, I want to go back and forth, but I, I need to get to things that I wrote down that I like to discuss, but I can't do it online. I need to. Can I, you have a phone call? I mean, a phone number that I could reach out to so I could use my notes and and, and that and such. So you need some. You got some questions you want to ask, but you don't. Yeah, have no, no, no. Yeah, I, I have some things I would like to say. And then I want to hear from you. Sure, I I, I I I absolutely agree with you. You talk, I talk, I talk, you talk, and I and I won't. And then I'll get off the I'm show. Not, I'm not giving you my phone number if that's what you're asking. That's for. well. I, listen, I, I I don't want your phone number in a sense. I'm trying to figure out how I could stream and use my notes on the phone. I don't know okay. how to do. That. That's why. Well, I, that's what happened happen. last time. It kicked me out. So you you you're 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 an alleged Jew. Yeah. God, God's chosen people, but yet you don't know how to use your notes and stream at Listen, the same time. Come on. There's, there's no, there's no reason to belittle anyone. I went back and I, I listened to what you said, and you said, "Listen." All right. Any you, questions off the top of your head? Any? Questions? No, no. I, I would, I, I would like to use my notes. I'm telling you, I have some very good things for, for you and okay. your audience. I promise you, I, I'm not here to waste your time. All right, Jason, we finally got you on. Before we get started with this Jewish man, um, y'all hit that like button. Everybody hit that like button because you're going to want to see um, me kindle a fire right now. <laughs> so go ahead, Jason. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me speak my piece, and then, then uh, you can ask me questions after. Is that okay? Will that sure. work? Sure. Okay. So... Uh, you say you're an educated man, so I have a few rhetorical questions, and I have a few um, things that I'll mention that you could take as a racial slur, but it's not a racial uh -oh. slur. It's a it's a, an educated man would understand. So I expect you to understand where I'm going with this. It's 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 keep your mind in the higher realm. That's all I ask. And for any one of you guys that are listening to this listen closely okay i'm gonna put this on the record this is november 8 2022 because i understand how things work but do you i will explain why i called in i hate that i have to come down to deal with the lower mind i will say that again i hate that i have to come down to deal with the lower mind i have to deal with the parasites in the body i don't expect you to understand that reference anyway but i digress so now he wants to say that we have the education of a monkey. See, this is why Judaism is so embedded in racism. Judaism is so embedded in racism. Let me let me show you guys something real quick for this goddamn devil. Let me show you guys something real quick, right? Let me go to this book. Let me go to this author of the book real quick yeah where's it at um more say there are jews tacitus on the praise friday class gentiles will be slaves even from dark day to light where is let me let me share my let me share my screen real quick jason i'm gonna let you talk give me one second because I just want the, 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 the people to see your uh, anti, anti, anti-black worldview. Let me, let me show you guys something real quick. Let me show you guys what he just did. 
Let me show you guys what he just did. And then, all right. Now I got a I got a source here. I'm gonna go to page 384. I'm gonna go to page 384. I'm gonna show you guys what the devil just did here. I'm not Kyrie Irving, and I'm not Kanye West. I'm not Amari Stoudemire. I'm Deacon fucking Destruction Mode. You understand? Now watch this. Okay, here we go. Page 384. And the bottom. <sighs> Page 384. Uh, always my mistake. Is it three eighty four? False doctrines. Next. Okay, here we go. Now I want to show you guys this real quick. Let me share my screen. Jason, take a look at this. Take a look at this, Jason. So you guys see what he said here? Jason Rosenbaum, whatever his name is. Let's take a look at who wrote the Mishnah. Who wrote the Mishnah? Moses ben Maimon. Some call him Maimonides. Maimonides or Maimonides. However you say his goddamn name. This individual right here, he wrote the Mishnah. And also, he established the 13 principles of the Jewish faith. 13 principles of the Jewish faith. faith that they exercise today. Now, the person who wrote the Mishnah, which is a part of the Talmud, this is what he said. He said the same thing that Jason said. This is why we say these guys are so racist. Look what he says here. In, in his book, in this book right here, it's called Perplexed uh, the, the guide for the perplexed. Guide for the perplexed. My manid, my, my man need these. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Right, whatever. But look at what the, the, the codifier, the commentator, and the organizer of the Mishnah says about Black people, right? It, this is page 384. Book three, book three, chapter 51, page 384. It says the people, let me show you guys this, the people who are abroad are all those who have no religion. No religion. Neither one based on speculation nor one received by tradition. Such are the extreme. Such are the extreme. The Turks, who were the Turks in the 1200, in 1200 AD? Who were the Turks in 1200 AD? Asian people. He started off, this Jewish man who I got on mute right now, he started off saying, I have a low level mind and wouldn't understand. And he hates that he has to come down and deal with the low level level minds. Well, he's saying that because Judaism is influenced by their number one rock star and celebrity rabbi, Maimonides. And he said that basically black people are not human beings. I find it funny that 
enduring 430 years of genocide, rape, rob, murder, and systemic oppression, we still procreate and populate and have a stronger mental fortitude than you. You talk about the Holocaust, more Soviets died in the Holocaust. There was almost 8 million Soviets that died in the Holocaust. Nobody fucking talks about that. 6 million Jews died in the Holocaust. 8 million Soviets, communists, died in the Holocaust. Nobody talks about that. So it says, such are the extreme. Such are the extreme. Turks, the Asians, that wander about in the north, and the Kushites, who live in the south. Now, this word Kushite during the Middle Ages was used to blanket and generalize all so-called black people. Fact. And those in our country who are like these, so you have some Asians and some black people in the same country where Maimonides was from. He says, I consider these irrational beings and not as human beings. That's what you just did, Jason. You're saying that we, you, 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 you're trying to practice, you're trying to uh, perpetuate the rhetorical doc, dogmatic doctrine of craniology where you say, oh, the, the black man has a smaller brain, a brain like a monkey, so that gives us the right and enables us to enslave him. I consider these irrational beings and not as human beings. Black people aren't human beings, according to the main perpetuator of modern Judaism. They are below mankind. That's what you just said, remember? I hate that I have to go low. If I was so stupid and of a lower mind, why didn't I catch your anti-Semitic? Because I'm from Shim. Why didn't I? Why didn't I catch? Why did? How did I catch your anti-Semitic uh, uh, preface preface statement? If I was just that dumb and of a low mind, not human beings. They are below mankind but above monkeys since they have a fo the form and shape of a man here we go and above a mental faculty of that and a mental faculty above that of a monkey this is what the person who compiled the mission that's a part of the talmud says says about us this is what the person who modern judaism is heavily influenced by with the building blocks of the, the 13 principles of the jewish faith this is the type of rhetoric and racism that you can find in the most sacred books of judaism Now, Jason, you can unmute yourself and talk, caveman. Not a fair fight. You're, oh, it's you, not. You, no, 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 no. You it's are. not a fair talk. fight. It's not a fair fight. That was all. some bullshit. That no. was to, that was to Jewish people. Fight. That was to everybody. No. Oh, that was to the poetry. Everybody? Yeah, this is to, to Jews too, Jewish people. This but is you're saying it to me. No, I'm saying it too because you're an educated man. You should understand. I said lower mind. Lower mind. The brain has two minds, does it not? No, the brain does not have two minds. Does it? Does it? it have no, a you have one. Mind and a lower mind? You have one mind. You're, do you know human anatomy? You, are you talking about your subconscious? No, no, no. I'm talking your about the brain. Your subconscious. You have the hypothalamus. You have the corpus callosus. You have the cerebrum you have the cerebellum listen what does this have to do with the, what does this have to do with the price of tea in china listen tell me tell listen, me listen tell me I'm... hold on jason tell me how we are not the people of the book i don't care about your anthropology your anatomy 
Tell me about theology. I'm giving you an understanding of what you're doing and what's happening around the world right now. Okay. I don't, you know, I took you as a respectful man. I took you as someone that would let someone speak and we cordially go back and forth. You're, you're, you're pulling a, 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 a Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump on stage type of thing right here. Do you see your, your, your covert racism in, in, in absolutely in, not that, no. in your, your passive aggressive insults, Jason, stop being passive aggressive. I believe that you are the goddamn devil that the Bible speaks of. Can I still have a intellectual cordial conversation with you? Yes. I'm overt about how I feel about you and your people. You need to stop playing like you're not a undercover damn Nazi and say what you mean and mean what you say. Listen, I, I, I'm, I, I am here out of 100% respect. I thought you were going to allow me to speak my piece and then you could rebuttal or, and then you can ask me questions. I'm not What's here your... to let you give a, a go on a diatribe. Be precise I, and concise with why you're here. I'm already pushing I, two hours on this show, and okay. you didn't have hey, anything no, to wait, offer I, or attribute. I, I, no, the last no, this, 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 this is this is you're taking this and you're twisting it to how you want it to be for your people. That's propaganda. I was here trying to educate myself and you and your audience, and you're making you're making this to be foolish. This was supposed to be professional. I came here with open arms trying to be professional. I didn't try to do anything other no, than you that. Came here, Educate. You came here trying no, to, no, I didn't. Formal. You came here for a formal dialogue when this is informal. This this okay. class was not, this class was not scheduled well, for I, you. I, this class is not as well around. I apologize and I'll leave. But I I, I thought I was going to be able to speak. You know, I, I figured you're a 45 you year old man. Questions. You said you had questions. I, I, I wanted to speak my piece and then I had questions and I figured you'd ask questions. Listen, I apologize if I ruined the show and your time with your audience. I'm not telling you to stop doing what you're doing. That's not what I came here to do. Whatever you and the black Hebrew Israelites want to do, that's your doing. And that's <laughs> your doing with God. You do whatever you need to do. Do you believe in God? I'm not stopping you. You know do what? you believe in God? Do I believe in God? Please. I do I you know, now you see, we're going from a high level conversation to, to something that's, that's, that's it's a low a, level. An honest question Do I believe in God? That's like be, someone asking a, a kindergarten. This is elementary level. You claim, to be, you, claim to be a level. Man. you claim to be a Jewish man, but most Jewish people are secular. You, you have to understand it's, something. I'm not, I claim to be Jewish by culture. I'm not Jewish by religion. Okay. You're Jewish by okay, culture. My father, my father's Jewish. Which my mother is Italian Catholic. I was raised Catholic, but let me understand. Let me let me let me paint a little picture here, okay? When you say when you culture, from, when you say culture, does that mean you keep the Sabbath? No, 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 no. I understand <laughs> how things work and operate everything, because when I was a young man, actually a young boy, theology and philosophy was the fields that I wanted to explore, and that's what I did. So I studied all of them, and every you were single boy. one. And 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 let me explain something to you. There is no such thing as a Hebrew Israelite on the tw uh, on the table of the of the spoken, true, beautiful books. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? There is no, there is no Hebrew Israelite book. That that I don't know I where what? that's coming from and where you're getting it. What is a Hebrew? What is a Hebrew? That is a character in a story. Character okay, that in we, a story. See, see, you know, it's so funny that that I asked you, are you the are you guys the people of God? You said yes, but yet you guys deny the power and existence of the God of the well, Bible, my, saying it's well, just a my, story. It's not a figment of our imagination. Well, my These question are historical is to you. events what, what that have you happen done? in a book. So listen, you I'm gonna said, I'm asking you, I'm gonna ask you something. Is, I'm gonna ask you before, listen, I'm gonna ask you something before, personal though. Okay, well, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna let you ask this last question, and then this is okay. not fruit for edifying, so we're just gonna wrap it up. You said there is right. no Hebrew yeah. Israelite. There is no Hebrew Israelite. Hebrew, no, no. It's, it's, Hebrew it's a is character. a people. Hebrew is a people. It's a character and a story, my friend. What character and what story? <laughs> it's a character in a story that you're letting 
What it's character? Cold. What character? What do you mean? What character? Who is Hebrew? What did that name come from? What do you? I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, let me explain something to you. The <laughs> Hebrews is a character in the story of the Jewish Torah in the Bible. The okay, Testament. who's his, who's his dad? No, 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 no. You're 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 not understanding the concept that it's a story. Okay, in you're the story, taking this. You're in taking the story, this as a literal. In you the are story, doing exactly what the Romans did. No, in the story, who is the father of Hebrew? And this is horrible. Of course, man. Abram and Sarah. Abram and Sarah. That's a Abram no. and Sarah. Absolutely, no, no, percent. No. Isaac not? is the son of a no, Isaac. No. Is Isaac, Abraham, Abra Isaac, Abraham, a Isaac, <laughs> and Jacob. Listen, you're not on. You're, you're 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 not going. Let me explain something to you. Oh, I'm gonna help man. you out here. I'm gonna help you out here. Let I gotta, I gotta mute this guy. This guy said Hebrew is the son of Abram and Isaac. See, these guys don't know our Bible. They don't know our book, whether it's a story or not. You don't know the story, dude. You're coming on here dealing with a people who was attached to this comprised collection of our records. It's more than just a story. Did you know, Jason? Jason, let me tell you something. I can't very stop. Serious. Oh, am Jason, I back now? I'm very serious. Let me tell you something very serious. All jokes aside, you're saying this book is a story and it's so disrespectful because in this book that you're calling a story, it no. predicted that I we never would go it. into slavery Listen, for 430 never, years on cargo no, slave no. no, no, no. I never said the story wasn't real. It's, oh my. I goodness. never, no, hold on. Give me a second to finish my piece and I won't call you ever again, but you didn't let me finish that. So forget it. So everything I had written oh, down, all mad, this man. beautiful, no, I'm he's not mad. mad. Listen, Crumble Nika, I'm not up. mad. Crumble let, up let, the paper that you me, wrote. Let me, let me explain Bible something to you. It. Burn the Talmud, burn the Bible, be, burn the Torah. Let me, it's no, no, not let me. You. It's not for you. <laughs> let you me, said when you, you were a young boy, you, wanna, you, when you, you, you young wanna, boy, listen. learned something. You said when you were a young boy, you learned something. And, and then you said, tell you something. If you listen, just, whenever somebody comes, I'm gonna oh, give you the I'm gonna give you the closing statement. But whenever I hear a grown man tell me when he was a young boy he learned something and that his mom was a Roman Catholic, I start to put two and two together. This is unbelievable. Young boy, Roman I, Catholic priest. You know, I start to put two and two together. Maybe that's why you're so emotional. Maybe that's I'm why you're so emotional. effeminate. Absolutely. Maybe not. that's why you're so effeminate. Did you okay. did your mom take you Here we to go with the mass? Did your mom take you to mass? And Deacon, there's no way you can mass. know God. Deacon, you can't know God. There's laws. There's there's natural <laughs> laws to this universe. You can't know them with an ego. You can't. Oh, but let, let me let me give you one gem. I'll give you two tin gems and then I'll leave and you won't see me again. Oh, let, me, let, let me ask oh, you one. Let me ask you one. I will see you again. I'll see you what in is the, All right, all right. Go with your your spiel. Okay. How how many days have you fasted? How many days have you only had water? Well, the Bible tells me not to brag about that type of stuff. So what? No, I, I, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm not talking the Bible. I asked you a question. Yeah, That's well, it. I don't. I don't need to let my my sacred devotion to my heavenly Father be okay. known. Okay. Well. If, if you've never okay, well, if you haven't done 40 days, you hey, wait, haven't have even you, begun. Have you done 40 days? I, absolutely, absolutely. For what purpose? You have because there's a secret within it, my friend. What I'm trying it? to tell you. Yes, there is, because tell it's me. an experience that has to be done. It's something that has to be done. It's not something that can be taught. Now let me ask, let me let, let's let me do one last thing with you, okay. I studied the great minds of this universe, Seneca, Copernicus, Galileo, Marsilio Ficino, Giovanni Bruno, all of them, all the great minds that, and they tell you something. Who said those were great minds? Something. Who, sold those, are, who said those were great minds? What, what is, what would be White a great mind? No, 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 White what Scottie would be, con listen, what would be considered a great mind? Is a all great the, mind something that you all experience? The, all the powerful black and brown melanated writers. Nobody of said those are. Of the biblical texts, all the black and brown oh, ancient ph philosophers. Those Nobody would be said the they great are. minds, not the great minds you're talking about that's influencing and perpetuating white supremacy. No, all no, over no, here. no, a great mind is something that you learn from somebody and you experience. It's not something that you just take and then you run with and you, you believe. 
It's something you, that you experience. Are you, are you an American? Of course I'm an American. Okay, you're an American. Yeah. So but wait a minute now. Say, I'm gonna I'm gonna but listen. wait a minute. You're in America. You, you're in America. Do you benefit off of white supremacy? Listen, wait a minute. I I, I yeah, listen, uh, come on, man. These are lower level uh, conversations. Just we, we just want to hear the Bible. We just want to hear went, you. No, no, no. We want I want to talk the Bible. I want to talk know. about the Bible. We want to hear you admit it. Are you benefiting from white supremacy? I'll answer that question after I give you the gym. Have a good night. <clears throat> And that, my friends, is how you barbecue the Jewish man. But I got something for y'all before we get up out of here. Yes, this is live. It's 341 on it's 341 on the West Coast. It's 641 on the East Coast. 341 on the West Coast, 641 on the East Coast. The point is, is that you Jewish people, you come over here to the America america and you benefit off of white supremacy because you're on stolen land a land that was taken by rape rob and murder and ex exploitation of our indigenous brothers and sisters and then brought us over here in captive in captivity to build this goddamn prison camp called america and this corporation that um it's still legal in the constitution to have us as slaves in but i want to show you guys something that because this is inspired by um a comment that was made on my show uh a couple of days ago where the brother didn't really believe that the the talmud says black people cannot serve in the temple black people cannot be a priestly temple it goes exactly against the bible we did not have anything to do with the talmud the true hebrew israelites we are not the authors of this talmud in the Talmud, it consists of Gemara, which are rabbis having a discussion about the Mishnah. That's it. So it's the Mishnah, and it's the Gemara. That's what makes up the Talmud. The Gemara, again, is the rabbis deliberating, if you will, over certain laws. In the Mishnah, this is, these are their codified laws that they say are predicated on Torah. Who wrote this Mishnah? Well, it was written by a man named Prince Judah in 200 AD, but it was recodified and compounded by Mammonitis, which is the one who said that black people are below humans, but above monkeys. This, And so the Mishnah, the Talmud is the most sacred book in Judaism, um, even up there with Torah, according to some rabbis. I want you guys to understand that. Now, I want to read this. Um, I want to read this real quick for you, brother. I hope you're watching because you left a comment and you said we were wrong on something. So I'm going to read this out the Mishnah. Then I'm going to get a rabbinic scholar breaking down what it means. And let's see if Sakari was wrong or not. So this is Bekarat, Bekarat, B-E-C-H-O-R-O-T. Bekarat seven and five. You cannot serve in the temple. Watch this, y'all. It says anyone whose complexion is very dark. See, this is how we know that we didn't write the Talmud. That the converts to our heritage, the converts to our ethnicity wrote the Talmud because the Bible says the first priest named Phineas was called Negro. Moses, the very, very, very first priest, put his hand in, in his in his coat and it came out white. Leprous as white as snow. Put it back, it was black again. Then in the so I want I want I want to and then I got another one. I get specific. So let me share my screen. And exactly what I read, a rabbinic scholar is going to break it down. Let me share my screen. Mushed in some way, crushed. They're inflated because he says ruach, there's some wind in there. They're inflated in some way. 
המכנית בנתיב יש ממש קושי מראה וחשוכים, the appearance is dark, שהוא שחור, it's black, I, I, I guess they felt at that time in their day that a person with a very dark complexion was not, uh, was not beautiful. He guessed that, so it says, if their complexion is dark or black, he says, I guess the rabbis at that time thought that a dark or black complexion, complexion was not beautiful. That's a problem because Songs of Solomon 1 and 5 says, I am black and beautiful. This is how we know we, the true people of God, did not write the Talmud. Because Songs of Solomon says, black is beautiful. But the authors of the Talmud are saying, black ain't beautiful. Right? So I want to be clear here. I'm going to show you guys some. I hope you're watching, brother, because you inspire, in, inspired me to go get the rabbi is breaking it down. Songs of Solomon. One in five. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Dark am I, yet lovely. I am dark, but beautiful. I am very dark, but lovely. I am dark yet lovely. I am black but comely. So when you read it in the Hebrew, there is no but there. It literally just means I am black and beautiful, which is where Tupac got this phrase. Black is beautiful. But when we look in the Mishnah, it says you cannot be a priest in the temple if you have a very dark complexion. Then he goes on, he breaks it down in the Hebrew. Let me rewind it one more time. Mushed in some way, crushed. The Kiva Omer Koshu Ruach Lashatav, they're inflated, because he says Ruach, there's some wind in there, they're inflated in some way. A Mechanir Venatim is Ramesh Koshu Marav Chashuchin, his appearance is dark. Shushachor is black. His appearance is dark? Black. I, I, I guess they felt at that time in their day that a person with a very dark complexion was not, uh, was not beautiful. He broke it down. So for all y'all who try to say, oh, Sakari's not reading from the Talmud, Sakari's not reading from the Mishnah, this is a fact. And he just said, the, at that time, they thought that black was not beautiful. But the Bible says black is beautiful and depicts all the ancient Israelites as different shades of brown, which you would call so-called black because nobody's actually black like my shirt, but different shades of brown melanated people were said to be beautiful. This is how we know we didn't have anything to do with this Talmud, with the Mishnah. Again, that's Bet Karat, seven and five. It gets worse though. I want you guys to understand something. I want you guys to understand something real quick before I move on. The reason why it says black or dark is because it's not necessarily talking about um, the so-called Negro. It's talking about anybody because there's East Indians that are darker than me. There's Arabs that are darker than me. Of course, there's Hamites that are darker than me. So they were just saying anybody who's dark. But then in the very next verse, it gets specific. No Negro can serve in the temple. So all you all you ho ass niggas, man, that where I stand with them, leave them alone, stop being anti Semitic. Yo, I'm saved. I'm saved. Deacon, you're saved. You're sanctified. You're filled with the Holy Spirit. <sighs> right? So, all you ho ass niggas, you bitch ass niggas, y'all niggas wearing, talking about all this anti Semitic shit. Yo, ho ass couldn't even serve in the temple according to Jewish literature, according to the Talmud. Let me show you guys this, right? Let me read this. Hey, brother, I hope you're watching. You inspired this. Now, this is the same chapter, Bekarat 7 and 6. It says, if he is black-skinned, this is the Hebrew word for cushy. Now, for cushy, it means cushite, but the Jews, they, the Jewish community, they take the word cushite, and then they said it's the, it means the Negro. They blanketed it, right? Now watch this. 
So a Negro can't serve in the temple. A Why is there two different words? One prior was dark and black. The next one was a Negro in specific. Let's let the rabbi break it down again. Show this to all these whole ass niggas who are talking about they stand with them. Watch him break it down again. Watch this, y'all. Bet you he say Negro. Now, he didn't say Negro here because it's not the word Negro here. He's talking about anybody who's black, even if he's not a nigga. But this right here says, can't no nigga serve in the temple according to Judaism. Watch this. They are now. Let's hear Ebbi Dexpis. Rebbe Poseb was a Chami Mashimi. Rebbe says it's no good. A Chami Mashimi. Rebbe says what it means is if you're Ebbi Dexpis, that means your right hand is weaker. But uh, we pass on like a Chami, and nowadays we know Chami are correct that you have a you have a strong, that means you just have two strong heads. A Kushi. Someone who is a who is a Kushi. Someone who is a Negro. He said it. So, brother, I hope you're watching. Try to say we're being intellectually dishonest. Before we put something out, we fact check it a hundred times over. This isn't a smear campaign or slander into the Jewish community. Anybody can go get their literature and read this. They didn't take it out because they don't care. Too strong, can't. A cushy. Someone who is a who is a cushy. Someone who is a Negro. Someone who is black. A gichor. Gichor is someone who has a red skin. The halavkan. Lavkan is an albino. So a black, a Negro, an albino, or any individual who may have the shade or pigment of a Negro cannot serve in the temple according to their most sacred literature, the Talmud, which is comprised of the Gemara and the Mishnah, and we're reading out of the Mishnah, and this rabbinic scholar, Jewish orthodoxy is breaking it down. So I would love any Jews in the building today, any Jews in the building today, um, I'm going to put a link in the chat. I'm going to put a link in the chat if there's any Jews in the building today, Jewish people rather, in the building today that would want to come on here and talk about what I just read. Or any of y'all who say, you know, you stand with the Jewish community, let's just have a peaceful dialogue about what we just read. Specific, specifically a nigga. Who, who stands with the Jewish community, a nigga who uh, practices Judaism. That's what we want. How far are you going to get in Judaism? Because you can't get in the, into the temple to be a priest. How about that? Oh, wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Shout out your uh, clothing line, Gaza. Shout out your clothing line. Where can they find this apparel? Where can they find this apparel? I done hurt my wrist, y'all. It's all good, though. I'm going to be all right. I look like I'm going bowling. Look like I'm going bowling. Let's hit the link. Let's talk about it. Yeah, no, Amari Stoudemire. You always talking about... Hey, you want to be like them? You want to go there? You want to you want to band up with them? Well, let's talk about what we just read in the Mishnah. How black ain't beautiful. How a nigga ain't beautiful. Let's talk about that. Hmm. Let's talk about this. Let's go. Let's go a little further. Let's go a little further. So we ain't got nobody who want to come on here. There we go. Website coming soon. Yeah, stop spamming in the chat. But let's go a little further. We got the books, y'all. The Babylonian Talmud. This is just bur this is just a tractate of Barakat. This is just a tractate of Barakat, though. Now let's go to uh Beck, Beck, Be, uh, Barakat. Let's go to Barakat 31B. Barakat 31B. And see, I can get an, I can get 
some things they say about Asians, some things they say about other people, but I'm just focusing on what they say about so-called black and brown people, right? What about your precious babies? Omari oh, Stoudemire, you got babies, right? Now let's see what they say. Hold on real quick. What's going on, sister? You got any questions? Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you was going to actually add me uh, to the chat. What's going on? Why you got that bonnet on? You coming on here with the bonnet on your head? What's going on, sister? Well, I just, because I, I agree with the, um, I agree with everything you be saying. Like, I really do. I was watching your story. It's crazy that I caught you on live. Like, for real, for real. I'm a little nervous. So, it's all good. His name Deacon, Deacon, uh, Deacon Destruction, and he basically um talking about the Israelites and stuff like that. See, I'm with, I'm Hebrew Israelite, my granny as well. Um, uh, tell them who I am and what my name is. Yes, her name is Yahweh. And um, did you familiar with Yahweh? I know the name. You know the name. Yeah. So why, you know that is God's name? Yeah. Well, that's that's we don't believe in that pronunciation. Um, you hey wife hey right you hey wife hey is the right pronunciation yeah some take that but um you know the tetragrammaton we'll just say the tetragrammaton or yod hey yod hey wa hey yeah i was showing the text and i was trying to tell people that but they ain't so who do you refer to god as because they weren't agreeing with me well when we look in the in the bible and we see the tetragrammaton we know that the modern hebrew is not what they were speaking in the ancient world so the proper pronunciation without the uh diacritic marks would be yahweh how would you spell that how would you spell that y y a h a w a h it's not pro it's pronounced yahweh not yaha it's pronounced Yahweh. Y A H W E H. Who taught you that pronunciation? Uh Yahweh himself. That's my name. My name is Yahweh. Been Yahweh legally. About Yahweh legally in heaven and in what does earth. Yahweh mean? What does Yahweh mean? What's the definition of it? Look it uh, up. There you go. Look it up. It's God of the it's God of the Israelites. You no, know I'm saying what does I it mean though? Every him, name I don't call it his name either creator. Of everything, every name, seen, every name has everything you know. seen and unseen. Yeah, but every name has a meaning, though. So, what does Yahweh uh, mean? He's talking about if you read uh, Matthew chapter six, verse started with six, verse nine, it would tell you, "Our Father, which art in heaven." <laughs> if they say hollow. <laughs> God bless your soul, sister. Uh, let's get the next person on. Uh, all right, Mike, check your live Zionist. Oh, yuck, oh, yuck. Okay, creep. Let me keep going here. Let me keep going here because I was going here. Now, I want everybody to pay attention. The Babylonian tractate, the Babylonian, I'm sorry, the Babylonian Talmud tractate, Barakat, page 208. More facts on how they treat us, more facts on how they look at us. So for all you guys saying Kyrie was so mean, Kyrie was so rude, Kanye was so rude, right? <laughs> you guys is funny going in on. <laughs> I know, huh? Who got it right? Who got it right? Somebody got it right. Deshaun Dillard, that's right. The name, the tetragrammaton, whether you want to say Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahusha, it still has a meaning and it means he is or he exists. She is not a man, but she wants a man's name. Sister, you got to remove yourself from that masculine vibration and, and, and pick up your, your, your feminine side. You understand? So anyway, let's keep going. Though. Um, page 208. Page 208 in the Babylonian tractate. Now watch this. This is Barakat. This is Barakat 31B. That's how you spell it. Barakat 31B. 
Let's see if you black folks want to hold hands with them after this. So watch this. If a sister gets blessed, right? If a sister gets blessed, it says him who maintains, I'm sorry, if she, if she usually gave birth in pain, she now gives birth with ease. You see that? So there's, there's, they're juxtaposing here. Uh, if she usually brought forth daughters, she now brings forth sons. So in the Talmud, it's, it's kind of a curse to have a daughter. Mm. If she usually brought forth dark children, If she usually brought forth dark children, she now brings forth fair children. Dark children is a curse according to the Babylonian Talmud, which is held in high regards and even equivocal to the Torah, according to Jewish orthodoxy in most instances. Let me read that again. If she gave birth in pain, she now gives birth with ease. If she brought forth daughters, she now brings forth sons. If she usually brought forth dark children, she now brings forth fair children. See that? If she brought forth short children, she now brings forth tall children. So there is a reference mark in here and it says, um, dark children considered ugly. See below. Dark children considered ugly. This is the Talmud, right? Wow. Hmm. Let me get one more for you guys. You niggas who want to think you're African, guess what? According to the Talmud, you can't even marry a Jewish woman. You niggas want to be African American, according to the Talmud, you can't even marry a Jewish woman. Let's go to another one. No, this is in the Mishnah, which is still a part of the Talmud. I've been all off in this in this Talmud, ready to sit down with a Jewish rabbi and talk about it be prepared to give an answer we talk about it where is it at <laughs> yelling precepts bring it out bring it out where is it at oh okay there it is so let me tell you something for you niggas that think you're african hamites you niggas can't even marry that Jewish. You want to see what that Jewish kitty cat look like? It ain't going to happen, according to the Talmud. You trying to see what that Jewish shit look like? Where is it at? Okay, here we go. Yebamoth. Yebamoth. Yebamoth in the Mishnah, which is part of the Talmud. Yebamoth. That's Y E B A M. O T H chapter eight, verse three. It says an Ammonite or a Moabite, right? An Ammonite or a Moabite is forbidden and forbidden for all time to marry an Israelite. You know, what's crazy though to me, I was talking to Alizar about this the other day. When you read the Talmud, you see the word Israelite so many times but they won't call themselves Israelites. It's almost like, well, see, let, let me let me help you out, Bishop. Let me help you out, so-called Bishop. You're, you're dealing with a scholar here. That's the Gemara. The Gemara is our rabbis deliberating over uh, oral tradition. 
the Mishnah, which is the part of the Talmud, is actually codified law, compounded. So you, you got to know what you're talking about when you're coming on the scholarly show, brother. If not, I'm going to have to bring you on here and bust your ass. I'm sorry. So anyway, this is the verdict, the Mishnah. It's oral law. That's why you you know the Hebrew word hilka is law. It say it'll say in the mission it'll say that is hilka. We still love you, Bishop. I just had to educate you. I, I mean, if you're a so-called Israel, if you're a so-called Negro Latino Native American, I love you. Outside of that, you gets no love. You gets no play up in this ride, right? But let me read this for you niggas who want to try to get some Jewish kitty cat. Uh, you can't marry them, according to the Mishnah. That's codified law. So an Ammonite and a Moabite. Well, what I was saying was, <laughs> I was saying is that there's the word Israelite is all in the Talmud, but they won't call themselves Israelites. It's almost like the spirit of God. The spirit of God will not allow them to call themselves Israelites. It's like the Holy Spirit just muzzles. It probably won't even let them utter it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's see. So an Ammonite or a Moabite, if you're a Chinese or Japanese, it is forbidden and forbidden for all time to marry an Israelite. But their women are permitted. You see that? So you, they can't, the men can't marry an Israelite the Moabites and Ammonites forever. They can't marry an Israelite woman forever. But the in the Israelite men, I'm sorry. Yeah, so the, the, the Ammonites and Moabite men can't marry the Israelite women forever. And the Israelite women can't marry them forever. But the Israelite men can have their woman. Excuse me. An Egyptian or an Edomite. See, you niggas want to be Egyptian, right? You want to be Egyptian, right? You know what? Let me just time out. Any, I, I can't. Listen, we're not, we're not in a cult. We're not in a cult here. So I want you guys to come on and share alternative or opposing views. But don't try to just blatantly lie. I'm sitting up here and telling you what the Talmud is. I got it in my hand. Bishop, you can go to the next channel. You can go to Safeway and get do your grocery shopping. You can go see Dave Chappelle or Kevin Hart. He's coming into town. Or you can go to hell. Um, so look, it says an Egyptian or an Edomite. So all you Negroes who want to be, say, your ancient Kemet, which is e Egyptian. You want to think that's where we're from? We're from Egypt. You can't, according to the Mishnah codified law, the highest level of Jewish literature, your ass can't get none of that Jewish woman's cootie cat. You can't get no cootie cat. You Negroes that want to be, yeah, that's against the law for you Negroes, Negroes who say you're Egyptian to go get some Jewish cootie cat. But you want to, I know you ain't going to stand. I know how horny and thirsty you niggas is. You're not finna go stand with them and wear them shirts that says fight anti-Semitism if you can't get no Jewish cootie cat. You playing a goddamn game. Let's keep going. Now look at this. It says bastards, bastards, bastards can't get no Jewish cootie cat. What is a bastard? Let's take a look. Let's go. Let's go to the prior chapter. Let's see what a bastard is according to Jewish tradition. Let's see if that fits some of you Negroes. Where is it at? Four and thirteen. Uh, who is accounted as a bastard? Here we go, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all all, all who can't get no Jewish cootie cat. I mean, if you want Jewish. Ugh. See, I really want to say something, but I got to be careful. Why don't you just go to uh, the pet store? Uh, I mean, any type of 
even any type of animal or <laughs> oh sergeant your time is hilarious sergeant your time is hilarious i just got a text from sergeant your time and uh but i'm saying on any of you niggas who are stressing and thirsty about the jewish kitty cat cootie cat then you know there's something that is equivocal to that okay and it usually comes on a leash <laughs> Okay, but the point is, is there's a, a Christian apologist named, uh, there's a Christian apologist named uh, K-Dub, who we wiped the floor with him so many times. I mean, just destroyed him. And his wife is Jewish, but he's so-called black. K-Dub, how you feel about that? That her, her Jewish liter literature says that, you know, we read it says that you, 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 K Dub, you couldn't even be a priest in the temple in her religion. You couldn't even be a priest in her religion. You're not even supposed to marry her. Right? Now, watch this. A bastard. So, a bastard can't get no Jewish cootie cat, right? Now, watch what the definition of a bastard is per the Mishnah. Uh, who is accounted as a bastard? Uh, it says the offspring. Here we go, because this is a lot. According to the Jewish literature, almost every nigga watching would be a bastard. The offspring of any union of near kin, of which is forbidden, like incest. Uh, it also says the offspring of any union for which the partakers are liable to extirpation, which is unlawful sex acts in Leviticus 18. And then it says uh, and the law ha, ha, uh, halakha is according to his words. The offspring of any union for which the partakers are liable to death. What is that talking about? Fornication, adultery. So if you're a product of adultery you can't get no Jewish cootie cat. If you're a product of adultery you can't marry a Jewish man. I mean, last time I checked, 85% of us was born out of wedlock. None of you Negroes can't get no Jewish cootie cat. Let's go back here. So it says a bastard and uh, Nathans. Nathans, I'm going to show you guys what Nathans mean. Nathans are forbidden and forbidden for all time whether they are males or females. So a male or female, Nathan, cannot marry into the Jewish community and the Jewish people. What is a Nathan? A Nathan is... Let me go to the appendix. Let me go to the appendix 29. I've been doing painstaking research so y'all lazy asses don't have to. I'm just going to quote... A Nathan, see Chronicles 9 and 2, Ezra 2 and 4, 43, Nehemiah 3 and 26. They were descendants of the Gibeonites. These are a Hamitic people. These are so-called African people. So you want to talk about all this African-American, ancient Kemet and all of this crazy stuff. You can't get no Jewish cootie cat. Oh, ugh. all right, y'all. That was funny. Uh, y'all be saying I could do stand-up comedy. You know what? I like the. It, it's it's fun in games. It is. It's fun in games, but you got to be balanced. You got to have a seriousness too. You got to have a, 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 a serious propensity and tenacity for this. And uh, so, you know, I like to be balanced. I like I like to make y'all laugh because a lot of this is funny. But then again. Is this this humor, this light humor is keeping me from snapping these cool ass niggas necks who don't know what's in here but want to bang on our brothers and act like they're anti-Semitic. You understand? When that literature is anti-Gentilism or anti-Gentilic, meaning if you're not Jewish, 
then there's a lot of stuff against you in their literature that I don't think people would agree with if they had the knowledge and awareness of it. So with that being said, y'all, um, I want to end this by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. We do so by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings, y'all. Hit that like button on the way out. And make sure you tune into Sakari in about 45 minutes. Sakari main channel. Peter Rosenberg admits we are the Israelites. Um, and Minister Farrakhan. And uh, we're going to deliberate over um, and expound on his speech. So all praises, y'all. Kwame Asharala, Rise 12 Tribes. Shalom.